So Mineral County, Colorado. Mineral County, Colorado. I got a power map. A counter a county power map. So let's just read over the names. Who runs Mineral County? Well, you got the 12th Judicial District, which is kind of separate. I did include the county judge. And in some respects, people could say the 12th Judicial District probably runs the whole goddamn... All six counties. Mineral, Rio Grande, Sawatch, Alamosa, Conejos, and Costilla. So Mineral County and the 12th Judicial District. The capital of Mineral, Mineral County is Creed. That's where Bat Masterson is from. Also the guy that shot Jesse James... According to the 2020 population, there's 865 souls, 865 people that live in Mineral County, Mineral County, Colorado. Now, here are the county officers. The whole point of doing the power map is just so you know who the hell's in charge, what they're in charge of. And if you live in Mineral County, then you could go to the right person. It's also, I'm doing, you know, an overall view of these counties to see if they are like some of the cities in Ukraine, when Ukraine was invaded, some of the mayors would stand up and fight for their, you know, townsmen and their people and their land. The other people just, you know, tucked tailed and fucking ran. So those are oppressors. If you had no inclination whatsoever of a staying and, you know, fighting for somebody, then that's... You're a piece of sh If you're a mayor and you weren't going to fight for your own people, you were just oppressing the people, just telling them what to fucking do. The moment that somebody invades and you take off, what kind of fucking leader were you? Just, just an oppressor. That's all you were doing was just oppressing the people. You weren't no goddamn liberator. You weren't trying to create jobs or make it fair and equitable for people. You didn't give a... So the three county commissioners of Mineral County, as of right now, that's election season right now, so this could change in just a couple months... Jesse Albright, Jesse Albright, Ramona Weber, and R. Scott Lamb. R. Scott Lamb and Ramona Weber and Jesse Albright are the three county commissioners. They are part of the executive branch, the county executive branch. So they're the ones that are in charge. They're the ones that are in charge. Now, a lot of times, it's the sheriff that's in charge because the executive branch, the county commissioners, don't know how to enforce their... So the sheriff, now we have, let's see, county clerk is Aaron K. Wentz. The deputy clerk is Wanda Sanderson. Kelsey Hanna is the elections clerk. And let's see here. The sheriff is Fred Hasselkus. Fred Hasselkus. The undersheriff is Chris Snell. The deputy is Shane Birdsey. The Deputy Boyd Wheelwright and Sheriff Administration Stasha Rice. Jim Adelman is the coroner. There is no surveyor. Mineral County, you need a surveyor. You don't have a surveyor. Every county gets a surveyor. Somebody should just raise their hand and become the surveyor. And be a people surveyor. I think good fences make good neighbors. Good fences, good strong fences, good strong property lines makes for good neighbors. So be a surveyor that, you know... Helps the people. Libby Lamb is the assessor. Treasurer and the public trustee is Amy Weatherill. The county superintendent of schools is Keith Crispell. The county school board is Casey Adelman, Kara Britton, Jennifer Castleberry, Brittany Addison, and Greg Pearson. I'm not sure who the county attorney is. I could not figure out who the county attorney is. The county judge is Ruth Ashison, A-C-H-E-S-O-N. And then the county clerk to the judge is Holly Wheelwright. Now, there's no home rule cities. It's pretty much a tiny little town. Here, I got some pictures. So, here's um, just, uh, you know, gives a sense. It's a tiny little room, right? The county commissioners of Mineral County, I mean, if, they're sitting there running, uh, you know, things out of this tiny little room. How many people from the public are in that room? They should have, since Mineral County is so small, they should be able to get all thousand people of Mineral County into one building or one spot, one amphitheater, and, you know, have a town hall meeting, a real town hall meeting where you actually have a true blue democratic republic like Athens, ancient Athens. So uh, I'm not sure who is who is, you know, I don't know if those are the 
three commissioners are not. I'm sure one is or somebody is or something. But that's um that's one of the commissioners. That's why you know they're sitting in that little room. Here's Ramona Weber. So Ramona Weber, she is pretty intelligent. She calls herself a constitutionalist, which um you know I wish I would have thought at first because I'm I'm a constitutionalist too. Especially my freedoms, especially my Colorado and American freedoms. We got a Bill of Rights for America and a Bill of Rights for Colorado. So I got a little paragraph here. I researched some of this. So Ramona Weber, she says, Mineral County is a special place with amazing vistas, wonderful independent people, and amazing attitude. No altitude, no attitude. Okay. We need to make sure we preserve the integrity and uniquely creed way of life. Now, that's interesting. Hey, Ramona Weber, what is the Creed way of life? I saw that one movie with um, Dumb and Dumber guy. What's his name? He had to save Creed. Change will come, but it's up to us to plan for mitigate direct change in a way that preserves and protects our county and landscapes. People come here to live out dreams, be in a remote area, to be independent to some extent. I want to preserve that as much as possible. Excessive regulation, overbearing government, and strident stringent rule making do not play into this we all need to work to keep this place as rugged as it is um okay i mean that's interesting uh constitutionalist she's a strong constitutionalist so you got ramona weber and you got jesse albright in 2019 jesse albright became the chair now i don't know they just switched up because apparently the other guy r scott lamb r scott lamb had been the chair so there's only three county commissioners, and I think it's actually kind of ridiculous that three county commissioners can't figure out how to get unanimous consent. There's only three of you. You couldn't figure it out? No, I'm the chair. I'm the boss. Okay, you get to be the boss next time. But then here's a picture. I want to say this is R. Scott Lamb. That's why I couldn't tell you know who he was in the other picture, but this was from an article. So he's out there campaigning. He's saying, hey, reelect me, guys. He's been in there for eight years. He wants another four years. I don't know if he's running against anybody, but look at him. He's like, I'm Mr. All-American, right? That's all fun. It's all fun and interesting. I just hope his policies are to help, you know, the people of Mineral County, the working class families of Mineral County. The new courthouse, this is our Scott Lamb. The new courthouse has been a huge benefit to the county, and I hope, and I hope to the community Lamb is also pleased to be a part of the final Mineral County landfill land purchase with Rio Grande National Forest. I don't think a lot of people understand how big that was for our county and what it meant for us moving forward. Lamb said one thing we really need to unravel is the housing situation here. It would make such a huge difference if we could find an amicable solution to this issue and be able to offer affordable housing to people coming here. Lamb said there are some options for housing that we're looking into, and it is not an unsolvable problem. It's just a hard problem that needs a solution. Housing, food, water, clothing, housing. That's one of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. We also need security and love and belonging and self-actualization, probably some solidarity, right? So, okay, that's your county commissioners right there. R. Scott Lamb, Ramona Weber, and Jesse Albright. Now, the county clerk is Aaron... Aaron K. Wentz, Wanda Sanderson, and Kelsey Hanna. You got the deputy clerk and then elections clerk. Kelsey Hanna is the elections clerk. I guess that's smart. Just give her the elections and then Aaron K. Wentz can kind of take care of. I think the county clerk has to be the clerk of the board of commissioners, right? The recorder of deeds and the clerk of the board. So they got to be at the meetings and they got to jot down all the stuff. And here's a picture of Fred Hosselkus. I think he's the one right there in the middle. <coughs> Excuse me. Get something to drink here. So that's the sheriff, Fred Hosselkus. So when it comes to who's in charge of mineral counting... I would go straight to the sheriff because it's easy. One man, Fred Hosselkus, though it should be Ramona Weber, Jesse Albright, and R. Scott Lamb. Now everybody likes getting that taxes and then spending that, you know, that money. But are they passing laws? Are they encouraging folks? Do they even talk about Milton Friedman? Ugh. Okay, so 
<laughs> Chris Snell, Shane Birdsey, Boy, Boiled, uh, Boy, Boiled, Boiled, Boyd, Boyd, Will Wright, and Stasha Rice. Corner, Jim Adelman. Jim Adelman, Casey Hanna, Jesse Albright, Libby Lamb, Amy Weatherill is the treasurer. Libby Lamb is the assessor. Jim Adelman is the corner. No surveyor. And then the Keith Crispell. I got Keith Crispell here. So that's your superintendent, the superintendent of Mineral County Schools. And, you know, not, um, looks kind of like a Mr., you know, Mr. Bure Bureaucracy, Mr. Insurance Claims Adjuster. Says Keith has a strong educational philosophy that states that we're not just teaching children to be good academic students, but that we're also teaching them to be caring, responsible citizens. That's not, that's really good, actually. That's smart. Not just educating the brain but making sure that they're caring, responsible citizens. So hopefully Keith Crispell is teaching all the rights and freedoms of the young Colorado Americans in Mineral County. Casey Adelman is at the school board. Do I just keep saying that, guys? Jim Adelman. Okay, the coroner is Jim Adelman, and then the school board is Casey Adelman is the president. Kara Britton, vice president, Jennifer Castleberry is the member. Brittany Addison, secretary. Greg Pearson is the treasurer. This is from their website. So Casey Adelman is the president. And then Jennifer Castleberry is the member. There's only five of you guys. Well, I'm the boss. And if anything happens to me, then you got to take over, okay, Carol Breton? <laughs> well, who's going to take the notes? Well, we're going to give that to Brittany. Well, who's going to take care of the money? We're going to let Greg Pearson handle that. Well, then what do I do? Well, you're the... You're the member. You're the most humble of the... You're one of the people. You're one of the people. And then Ruth Asherson of the 12th Judicial District. That's the county judge. The county clerk to the judge is Holly Wheelwright. And that is so important. My God, the county clerk in Costilla County is just absolutely awful. Somebody ran over and killed my dog and they're still harassing me today. There's some motherfucker that works at that biodiesel plant. He's a part of the county government. He works in the road department. A fucking KKK. I don't know. I keep calling them Mickey Mouse KKK because I don't think that they're just right-wing Republicans. I think they're criminal fucking KKK pieces of shit. But that county clerk, she didn't give a goddamn fuck. Talk to the judge. The judge didn't give a f goddamn flying fuck. And then after about a hundred times of getting attacked, I stood up for myself and now they're going to try to say... That I did something wrong. Motherfuckers, I got a right to defend myself. But the county clerk, she didn't know the difference between right and wrong. So when it comes to Ruth Atchison and Holly Wheelwright, they got such a powerful, such a powerful position. You got the entire system right there at your fingertips. And if you're going to pretend that some people are worthy of the, you know, system's protection and other people aren't worthy... Go to hell. Fuck you, you professional corruptionist piece of shit. We don't need that kind of bullshit. I don't know the county judge and the county clerk of Mineral County. I just know my experiences in Costilla County. And because she didn't... Somebody coming around and murdering my fucking dog. That's that's not felony animal fucking cruelty, you sick sons of bitches. That ain't nothing, you sick sons of bitches. It's a felony and you guys are sick as fuck for allowing that shit to happen and... Basically, let me, what, stay by myself in my own... Tecumseh was his name. He was a good dog, and he loved me, and he protected and served. Maybe that's why the cops and the system don't give a shit about dogs, because they actually do the damn job. They actually protect and serve. But, um... That's it. Okay, so let's let's end this off. No home rule cities. Crete is the capital city, so I think it's population of 230 or something. Mineral County seems like it'd be a, a nice place to live at, just because of, the you know... It's, I think, the sparsely, like the first, second, or third most sparsely populated county in Colorado. You got 64 counties. So that's the power map. Who runs, besides the county attorney, I couldn't figure out who the county attorney is. Maybe I'll call somebody. But uh, no home rule cities. Who's the largest landowner? Who's the richest person? The wealthiest corporation? Who's, do you have a resident homeless person? Who's the poorest person? Who's, what about the LIHEAP 
chief or the food stamps chief. It's incredible. Even the people that run the food stamps office, you know, for the federal government, they have power too. And the HUD chief does too. So those are some other questions. I'm not sure who the county attorney is. But one more time, who runs Mineral County? Who are your county officers? Who runs? Who are the local officials of Mineral County? Holly Wheelwright, Ruth Atchison, Greg Pearson, Brittany Addison, Jennifer Castleberry, Kara Britton, Cassie, Casey Adelman, Keith Crispel, Chris Bell, Amy Weatherill, Libby Lamb, Jim Adelman, Stasha Rice, Boyd Wheelwright, Shane Birdsey, Chris Snell, Fred Hasselkus, Kelsey Hanna, Wanda Sanderson, Aaron K. Wentz, R. Scott Lamb, Ramona Weber, and Jesse Albright. And Jesse Albright. And there you go. There you go. Shall I, let's try to actually see if I can figure out who the county attorney is. Right off. No, I'm not going to. Okay. So, there you go, Mineral County. That's who's running over you. Are they liberators or are they oppressors? You'll have to be the judge of that.